Senator McIntyre, Madam Senator Batters. Thank you. Minister Goodale, we are both from Saskatchewan, and I actually live in your riding of Regina Wascana. I have heard ongoing significant concerns about your government's legalization of marijuana plan from large numbers of your constituents and from people across Saskatchewan for the last two years. Um, as you mentioned in your opening statement, Saskatchewan does have the highest rating of impaired driving in Canada. It's a massive problem. Minister, there are some portions of this bill, C-46, that are designed to decrease impaired driving. Some provisions our Conservative government actually originally introduced. So with this question, I'm not looking for another recitation of those. I want to ask you instead about the Trudeau government's decision to legalize marijuana rather than decriminalize it. And we need to be very clear about that because mistakenly, many Canadians think that you are only decriminalizing it when in fact you are intending to legalize it. So as public safety minister, do you think that legalizing marijuana will be more effective in decreasing impaired driving in Canada and in our province of Saskatchewan than only decriminalization of marijuana? Uh, I believe the legalization route is the right route to go uh, because it, uh, it, it brings with it uh, the, the greater prospect of um, dealing with the, with the two troubling issues that, uh, that triggered this conversation in the first place. And that is uh, the, the global statistics from, from um, the UN and other organizations saying that uh, Canadian teenagers were the heaviest users of, uh, of marijuana uh, in the Western world. Uh, and other statistics that show that an estimated six to seven billion dollars in illegal profits uh, flows to organized crime every year because of the illegal sales of, uh, of, of marijuana. Um, and uh, as we all know, uh, young people uh, sadly know exactly where to find the sources and they are readily available. Uh, and uh, the current regime uh, in place now for about 90 years uh, has been an abject failure. It has not kept marijuana out of the hands of our kids and it has not kept illegal profits out of the hands of organized crime. Uh, the, uh, the decriminalization route uh, does not eliminate the black market. The black market continues uh, under that particular approach. Uh, and the end result is you don't solve the problem with, uh, with, a, with a decriminalization approach. You would transform the problem in certain ways, but you wouldn't get rid of it. And that's, uh, that's the objective. Be more effective at keeping marijuana out of the hands of our kids and be more effective in stopping the flow of illegal cash to organized crime. So I note that your answer didn't really directly address my question, which was talking about the specific um, issue of impaired driving and the massive problem that that is. But uh, I will also go on to say that your government has said that there is no safe amount of drugs to consume before driving. Your justice minister has admitted several times that roadside drug testing is, at this point, not fully evolved, not exact, not advanced. So, Minister Goodale, as Canada's Minister of Public Safety, why is the Trudeau government legalizing the most widely used illegal drug, marijuana? Because if you delay the solution, you simply delay and perpetuate the problem. Are you saying that legalization is a solution? That this is it's, going to be the solution? It is going to, to be more effective. It is going to be more effective than the regime that has failed for the last 90 years. And that is a consensus that's developed even among people of. Um, the views of a Newt Gingrich, for example. Why do you think the only other country in the entire world is Uruguay that has legalization as its approach? Well, I would cite uh, uh, such uh, civilized and advanced places as uh, Colorado, Washington, California, Country. New York State, many others that are moving in that direction, who've been com who have been convinced by the logic that the present regime has failed. And you can perpetuate failure or you can try something that has a better chance of success. And the considered view of the government, and we're uh, certainly accumulating the evidence to demonstrate a majority of Canadians, is that this approach that we are adopting in 45 and 46 has a better chance of succeeding than 
what has failed for 90 years. Thank you, Senator Bass.